Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. If you don't know what kind of reading you would like, it doesn't matter. Just email me and we'll chat about the situation, what you're looking to gain a little more clarity on, and I'll help you pick it out. Yeah. <clears throat> so just a few announcements before I move forward. If you would like to book an in-person reading with me, you have a few options. The first on Fridays, I am at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and give them a call and you can pre-book a session there. I'm also at Collective on Saturdays from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Both of these places are in the New York City area, specifically the East Village. If you would like to pre-book a session there, we're working out some kinks with the website. I'll be able to direct you to that shortly. But if you would like to pre-book a session there, go ahead and email me and I will help you get set up for that. Finally, on the 28th of April, I will be at Awaken Fair in Tarrytown, New York. Um, and it's going to be a really awesome, awesome um, uh, like festival, uh, holistic healing and reading and whatnot festival. Um, and if you would like to pre-book a session there, either 15 or 30 minutes, the link to that website is in the description box as well. Just keep in mind that pre-booking ends on the 27th for the event, which is on the 28th. Yes? Okay. So, um, keeping it cool, cute and cool like we did last month, um, I'm going to start by pulling an oracle card from the unicorn, unicorn oracle to get a general theme or an overview for your month, uh, and then I'm going to be moving to the Golden Universal Tarot for the regular spread. Yeah? All right, Cap, let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Capricorn for April 2019. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So I'm not going to lie. Um, in, in just channeling your energies and feeling it out, um, you, it just feels pretty heavy right now. Um, and I just did, I mean, obviously you're an earth sign, so there's going to be some weight to it, but it just feels dense and heavy. Um, and I keep hearing the word sedentary. Now you guys are cardinal signs. Okay. So you are definitely no stranger to taking action. All right. But what I'm feeling here, what I'm picking up on is almost like a Taurus energy. Taurus being a fixed sign, very very heavily, deeply rooted. I just feel like you guys, some of you are getting really stuck in your ways in something. Someone is getting fed up about something. So it could be someone, I have a cross watcher here that's watching for a Capricorn and they're getting fed up with Capricorn's ways in some way. Um, I just feel like for the Capricorn here, your energy just feels like you're getting very rooted in something, a belief system, a habit, um, a way of thinking, something like that. I don't know. And I don't really know if it is going to be a good thing. Um, you know, it's good to have a foundation, but it's also good to be able, it's best to be able to shift and adjust. And I just feel like for whoever this is, you're just getting very rooted, rooted in a way of being, I guess. Almost as if you're losing some sort of flexibility here. But I feel like you're willingly giving it up, though. Like, And this doesn't have to be that bad. Maybe you're just settling into your own way of being, which is great, which is beautiful. But for some of you, I don't know, This it just feels heavy. So I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But we'll see what comes out here, yeah? I'm going to give this one more shuffle cap, and then we will see what your theme is for the month. There, wow. There it is. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see what we've got here. Leadership. Okay. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. Now, Capricorn, you're like the CEO of the Zodiac, right? Um, and especially as being a cardinal sign, 
you're definitely no stranger to leading the way, to taking control, to all that kind of stuff. So this could be why you're really settling in, you're becoming a little more sedentary because you are taking on responsibilities of leadership. So maybe that's why it was feeling like there's something just felt really heavy. Um, great responsibility, great burden, that's what this could be. That's why it made maybe didn't feel as ideal as maybe I wanted it to or I felt like it should but you're taking you might be taking on a lot of responsibility right now you might have gotten a new job you know where you might have actually made it to CEO congratulations if that's the case um, uh, you're a boss of some sort you're a manager you you know regional manager um, floor manager I don't know you're leading the way somehow, and this doesn't have to be in business too, you know, you could be leading the way, you know, being some sort of counselor for people, um, some sort of spiritual guidance, um, however that resonates for you, it's just, but, but that responsibility is like starting to set in, I guess that's what I was picking up on, okay, that sense of responsibility of being a leader is really starting to set in here, all right, Capricorn, okie dokie, so I'm going to give this... One more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for your month. Yes? All right, Capricorn. Let's see what we've got here for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Very good. Very focused on work. Leadership skills. Um, put, really putting the nose to, the, you know, the pedal to the metal. Um, the, the grinding the axe. Like, you know, really... Uh, setting an example here for, uh, especially if you are in charge of employees, um, you just got a new job, you just got a new promotion, or you're in some sort of, you have some greater responsibility, you're very much, I f really feel like you're working very, very hard to um, maintain some sort of momentum or um, maybe even prove yourself. I mean, honestly, if you got the job already, that's great, okay? You, I don't think going... I mean, go, yeah, you can go above and beyond if you want, but, like, you don't have to kill yourself over it. You've already got the job. Like, chill <laughs> and just do the job. You know what I mean? But uh, for the most part, I really just feel like this is – you may have some things that you need to learn. Like, this really could be a brand-new position for you, um, so you're having to work out some kinks. You're having to figure some things out as you go. But ultimately, this is a this is a good – this is a good energy. And honestly, I, you could really say that the Eight of Pentacles does represent Capricorn energy to begin with. All right, so that's excellent. Oh, Nine of Swords. Me. Okay. Knight of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. Interesting. All right. All right, Capricorn. Listen. Uh, how do I say this? Um, just... Just relax. <laughs> Just relax, bro. This Knight of Wands energy is driving you up a wall. It's like there's 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 really strong energy of needing to prove yourself somehow. And it's stressing you out with the Nine of Swords. Okay, it's creating a ton of anxiety and for some of you, you're burning the candle on both ends, but others of you, there's deception here. You're deceiving yourself. You, like I said, you've already got the job, okay? You've got the job. Now just ease into it. You don't have to handle everything at once. And this doesn't have to be a new job. I mean, take this however it resonates with you, but you got it. You have it. You're in this position now, okay? So... There's really no reason to, to, to go at it with a fury here. Like, you don't want to burn yourself out. Knight of Wands. Burning the candle on both ends, you don't want to burn yourself out. All right? Especially if this is something that you really love doing or you've been really working very hard to get here. I really think you're overworking yourself. You might be taking this leadership aspect to a level that it doesn't necessarily need to be on right now. Or even ever. For the most, you know, for that matter. I do want to say, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. You should be proud of yourself, you know, for accomplishing whatever this is. But 
Yeah, I keep hearing burning the candle on both ends. You don't need to do that. That's going to you're going to tire yourself out. Okay, let's get into the general reading here now. Um, I have been saying that it's the first and second half of the month, but it doesn't have to be that way. Okay, if it resonates for you, that's great. But energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. So um, this really good. I'm just gonna keep saying it as the first half and the second half of the reading. Yes, um, everything's intertwined, intermixed. Take it as it resonates. All that goodness, right? Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We've got the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. But I definitely, yeah, definitely a leadership role. Um, I see you as this is you're the torchbearer. Okay, you're you're you you got the vision, you've got the creative expression, you uh, whatever. You're lighting the way for people here. Okay, that's great. That is a lot of responsibility, but again, you don't have to overwork yourself, Capricorn, all right? You still need to stay balanced and secure within yourself. You still need to remember to take some time for self-care because if you're not caring for yourself, then you can't maintain this leadership role. If you're burning your, the candle on both ends, if you're burning yourself out in this situation, you're not going to be able to maintain this leadership role. You're not going to be able to be the most effective leader that you can be, okay? Ace of Wands is coupled with the Eight of Swords. You are working yourself into a into the ground, Capricorn, and you are, first of all, Spirit is saying you are overworking yourself. But second of all, you are all up in your head about this. I mean, look at, look, look. This, the, the hand is already holding the torch. Yes, you could see this as an opportunity coming out of thin air. But I'm also seeing this as you already have the torch. You already have the job. You already have the position. You already have this status that makes that's put it that's put you in this leadership role. You're holding on to it right now. You don't have to stress out so much about it. Eight of Swords. Now, part of this sedentary energy that I was picking up here is feeling like you have to give up certain things. You have to give up some of your authenticity in order to be this leader. That is not the case, okay? If anything, you need to be 100% uh, authentic. 100% authentic. Honestly, if people are, if you really want people to respect you, you can't, you can't, it is not advisable, to be quite honest, in my opinion. Obviously, others are going to feel differently. But I really don't think it's advisable to cultivate that respect on falsehoods, on being someone that you actually aren't. You know what I mean? And honestly, those days are over. We're moving into days of way more authenticity now. Like me, me personally, I am who I am. And I, that's what I give you guys. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, that's cool. There's a bunch of other people that you can follow. But then... I would have a serious problem if I were sitting here preaching you guys, preaching something to you guys and not even doing it myself. You have to walk your talk, right? So if you can't be this ideal, perfect person, then why try and be that? Why not just be you, right? You've got the torch. Just be your authentic self, okay? Excellent. Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We've got three of pentacles. All right. So entrepreneurship, uh, teamwork. Um, I do believe that some of you are in the in the process or in the position of being in charge of a team here, leading a team uh, venture, uh, um, a business. This The three of pentacles uh, in this situation is definitely talking about working to bring the team together, especially if this is a new position for you. Now, this could be why you're working yourself to the bone to... Um, to, I guess, prove yourself in a way because you're having, you're needing to get, generate the team respect. You're needing to bring the team together. All right. But again, you have to remember to take some time for yourself. Okay. The three of pentacles is coupled with the six of cups. Excellent. Soulmates, partnership, companion, the past, nostalgia. But yeah, I'm just getting a really strong energy of teamwork here. And I guess one thing to take a bit, take from this is um, try and, and play to the inner child in people. Make it fun. Try and make it fun. It doesn't have to be so 
dry all the time. Yes? Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you've got, ah, 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 the Four of Pentacles. Mm, there's that sedentary energy, Capricorn. The Four of Pentacles, you could see the Four of Pentacles as a Taurus energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart. But what the Four of Pentacles is speaking to here is rigidity. That's really, I don't really think that's going to help you be su as successful as you may really want to be in this situation. All right, Cap? Four of Pentacles is coupled with... Yeah, Five of Swords. That's not going to help you. Staying firm in your old ways or maybe even rooting in some new ways that aren't... Obviously are not benefiting anybody. Not you or them. Whoever you're dealing with, Five of Swords, is a lose-lose situation, okay? Self-defeat is what I'm hearing. Like, this really could be a situation where you get the job, you get the position, whatever, whatnot, you get the status, and then you overwork yourself, or you, you're, like, super controlling with it, and you lose it just like that. Like, I'm not trying to make anybody nervous or, or paranoid. I'm not predicting that you're going to lose whatever this is. I'm just saying... That's how it could be done, by not letting go, by not loosening up a little bit, right? It's going to come back and bite you in the end, says Spirit, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome here, Capricorn, you've got, oh, the Emperor. But you see, the Emperor can be very, very controlling. The Emperor absolutely is a leader. Absolutely is the leader of the um, Major Arcana. Gosh, but Spirit just said you could be doing this to yourself. I mean, you're running yourself into the ground. Maybe you're running your teammates into the ground. Mm. The Emperor is coupled with the Ace of Swords. Ah, but see, a learning experience. An aha moment. Seeing clearly. I really feel like this is a situation in which you're like, yeah, you're the leader, you're the boss, you're the master, you're in control, but... You're learning how to be better, a, a better leader, okay? Because I did see, I did feel with this emperor energy that we were talking about, it you know can be very controlling, but it's learning to be compassionate here, especially with this six of cups. That's what this six of cups is really talking about: the compassion, understanding, empathy, okay? Playing to the inner child. Okay. All right. Cool. So getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, seven of pentacles. Wow. A lesson learned here. That's a good thing. Also, uh, this is Virgo energy. There could be a Virgo around you. Could be Virgo in your chart. Oh, also the emperor is Aries. Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. But seven of pentacles is definitely a lesson learned here. A time to look back. Now, this could be, this definitely could be the second half of the month here for you. A time to look back, take stock, see how things have worked out in the past and how you can do better moving forward. Especially if this is a brand new circumstance or position for you. This could be like a progress check of some sort. Maybe you're a teacher and you're writing progress reports. I don't know. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles is coupled with... Hey, the Eight of Wands. Communication. Clear communication. I am definitely seeing communication between team members, teammates. Um, um, a status check. Uh, but also, I'm seeing that once you take... You have this moment to like take stock and look at things and look see how they've been progressing... Uh, the air will be much clearer or the space will be much clearer. There will be way less obstacles for you to move forward and probably move forward very quickly, okay? That's beautiful. Okay, second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here. You've got the Queen of Swords. No time for games, no time for drama, no time for bullshit. Hmm. Queen of Swords is coupled with, ah, excellent, the Five of Cups. This is no time to get lost in the sauce, okay? Uh, three of Cups are spilled. That's all right. Failed experiences, uh, failed experiments, but you still got these two cups here. All is not lost. And so if you do run into some hiccups, run into some troubles here, um, 
All is not lost. Obviously, even with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, that could be talking about, okay, you sitting back saying, all right, what went wrong here? But clearing that up. And then from there, you have the Eight of Wands, which is giving you clear space, maybe lots of exuberant energy, especially with this Knight of Wands energy that's in the uh, overall energy for you. It's giving you the energy to move forward and move forward quickly. So don't even worry about this. Cut out the cut out the drama. Don't feel so bad for yourself. Everything is a learning experience. Everything is a-okay. All is not lost. You could also be dealing with a Libra energy or maybe even another Earth sign, uh, Gemini or Aquarius, but the Queen of Wands being the cardinal, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords being the cardinal sign that is Libra. And Libra is all about balance. So there could be a little bit of an emotional imbalance that's coming forward here due to whatever may whatever mishap may go on in the beginning of the month or whenever. And so you're needing to just like, boop, cut the shit, be like, no, 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 I'm not falling into that. Let's just learn the lesson and move on, right? Okay, your challenge in the second half of the reading here, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Hard-won victories. That's very interesting. Nine of Pentacles is in your challenge. Standing strong on your own two feet. I, I wonder why, though, Capricorn. Oh, standing in your authenticity, standing in your authentic nature, not being the type of leader that will say one thing, but then turn around and do the, the exact opposite, you know, integrity, honesty, humility, mm. the nine of pentacles is coupled with the tower. Humility, Capricorn. Scorpio energy also. If you experienced some sort of loss during the month of April, or maybe this is from before April, okay? But if you experience some sort of loss here, it's only going to help you build up and build yourself back stronger. Yeah? Much stronger in the end. You know, this emperor energy here could really use a, a dose of humility. I mean, yeah, he's a master of his own domain. He's the king of kings. He's in control. He's the leader. But he doesn't need to be an arrogant ass about it, right? And I really do feel like that's what that ace of swords is. That aha moment, the realization of how to be a better leader, maybe a better father figure. Mm -hmm. Closing message or potential outcome here for the second half of your reading. Beautiful. The magician. Manifesting something new. Changing the way you see things. Opportunities coming to you. Manifesting these opportunities in the change of your behavior. Okay. The, uh, the magician is coupled with, you see, I told you, a change in your behavior, the Ten of Swords. The worst is behind you. So look, man, damn, Capricorn, you learn quick, don't you? Because you had the Emperor with the Ace of Swords here, that aha moment, realization of why maybe something has gone wrong. And then, I mean, other than the Queen of Swords... You don't have any other swords in the second half of your reading. You jump straight to the 10. I mean, damn. <laughs> that's really freaking awesome. Now, you do have the 8 and the 9 and the 5, but that's in the beginning of the reading here. But Okay, and your overall energy is at the 9. So, all right, all right, cool. So you're kind of, you're at the precipice already. Um... But this is a lesson, I guess, that you've been set up for or you're setting, you set yourself up. Okay, wait, no, we've got the seven, the eight, and the nine. Because the seven of swords is underneath the deck here. Okay, so, all right, but like, damn, though. It, okay, so it's whatever, this is like a, a, the final piece of the puzzle, I guess, for some of you that really completes the situation for you and you're able to manifest something new out of it, especially with this 
Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands energy here, taking stock, learning the lesson, seeing the truth behind seeing the truth behind the deception. Seven of Swords. Yes? Excellent. So there you have it, Capricorn. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much to, for tuning in. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. Uh, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of May. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye.